Let's go, everybody. Come on, all fanatics, stand up. Let's go. Welcome to the Hyphen Show on these YouTube streets. Let's go, Billy, show them how to do it. Here we go. Welcome in, all fanatics. I'm your host, DC Wolf, and it's my job to get you to the game. Who are we playing today? The Mississippi State Bulldogs. And where are we playing? At home, Jordan Hare Stadium, the loveliest village on the planet. What channel are we playing on? SEC Network. What time are we playing? 2.30 Central Standard Time and 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. What's the weather like to say, DC Wolf? Your high, 80 degrees. Your low, 59 degrees. Game time weather, 78 degrees. And what about some tickets, DC Wolf? $30 to get you in the nosebleed, $60 to get you in the end zone, and $90 to get you on the side. You got the flow like that, baby. Now that I've hyped you up, I've gotten you to the game, got you excited, let's ask Coach this one burning question we always ask. I got one question that's going to determine if this is going to be a long interview or not. Are we playing two quarterbacks this week? Or are we going to go with one quarterback, Coach? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, we're still, I mean, we're up here late last night, obviously, and today, and I really hadn't seen the staff much today because of uh, everything I have to do Monday mornings, but um, that's still being discussed. Uh, but I would expect that you would see both, both QBs. There you have it. This interview is over. Let's go. All right, Auburn addicts, I got you hyped up. I got your tickets to the game. I brought you Hugh Freeze. And now, Marcus Fitzpatrick, Nick Frazier. Gonna do a little in-game analysis. Let's go. Welcome to Auburn Addicts, everybody. This is Mississippi State Week. I got my boy from the Water Cooler Talk Podcast on the show today. Man, I like the way you smile, Nick. <laughs> we got Nick and Marcus. Nick is stuck. Is Nick stuck? <laughs> I hope Nick's stuck. No, that's Nick stuck. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, he ain't. Oh, I thought he was. Look like I was stuck. Look like I was stuck. Oh, man. You got me here. Hey, bro, I was stuck. <laughs> hey, I was lost. I was so lost. I look like I was stuck, though. It looked like I was stuck. It looked like I was stuck, but I was not. Hey, bro, golly, that was good. <laughs> Hey man, you need to do. You need to get your job as a, like what in the mannequins, you know, say how they do the live mannequins in the mall, <laughs> in the mall, bro. For real, That's man. Funny. Hey, Brian used to do that, man. Brian used to do that job. Brian for used real? to do that. Yeah, he used to do that. Yeah, you know, like doing the, some, like doing different seasons. He'll go in the mall and put, you know, wear the clothes and just stand in the window. <laughs> 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 he did that as a job, man. For real. For real, bro. <laughs> Yo, that feel like it'd be fun though. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They got like change positions like every yeah, time. every so often. Then you kind of okay. rest. Right. That's interesting. That's pretty <laughs> good. That's pretty good. So, yeah, he he had a job <laughs> as a live mannequin, man. It's anyway, cool, man. Yeah. What up, boy? You just threw me. You just threw the whole show out of whack. <laughs> hey, y'all, we back. <laughs> Nick done threw us all, man. But uh, Mississippi State week. Mississippi State week. Let, let's get right into it, man. What are the keys to this game, man? What we got to do to win this game? No, no, first, 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 we got to get everybody on the couch, man. That's Auburn at it. We got to put everybody on the couch. Let's deal with the emotional state. Everybody lock in. All right, they say men need to be in more emotionally connected. All right. So, Marcus, let's go with you first, man. What is your, what is your emotional state right now? I'm going to talk and give you a little Sultry voice. What is your emotional state right now, Marcus, as far as this Mississippi State game is concerned? Going into this week, man, um, I feel like uh, this is a down opponent compared to the big time SEC opponents we've been playing so far. So I feel real good going into this week. So you saying they some scrubs? 
<laughs> he said they tomato cans. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna just say we've been, say, we, we, we been playing teams like Georgia and Ole Miss. So you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be disrespectful as my co-host, but mm-hmm. okay, okay, but, okay. You know, Nick. I feel like I feel mm-hmm. real good. Okay, you feel good. Like okay, okay. Spread, you, you know? in a happy you in a happy space. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm good. In a happy space, Nick. How you, what's your emotional state, man? I'm at the. I just want to see some. I just want to. I just want to see some different than what I've seen the first seven weeks. I don't even. I don't even know. I'm just indifferent right now. I'm so indifferent right now, man. I don't know because I, I, I. Okay, so after watching last week's game, um, okay. I'm like, bro, was it all pain thorn? Was it? Was it really all pain thorn for real? You know what I'm saying? Now, Payne Thorne's still bad. Don't get it twisted. He's still bad. But after watching that, I'm like, I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm just just looking to see what pops on the field this weekend. You, we'll just melancho- you melancholy. I'm there. <laughs> I'm just there. I'm just here. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, what's going to happen. I'm just, all right, we'll see what's up. All right. Auburn is, supposed, Auburn is supposed to win this game. That's how, that's how I see it. So I'm, I won't be – if I, I'm not going to be up or down if they win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, if they lose, I'm going to be like, bro, we suck. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Auburn lose, we'll be like, we suck. Especially after we done called on the tomato can and scroll. No, where I'm at, man, I'm, I'm apprehensive. I'm apprehensive for real because, man, like you just said, if we lose this game, what does that say if – Dude, you, they put up seven points against oh, Arkansas, bad. man. Arkansas only scored three points, right? Yeah. Yeah. So on their homecoming, by the way. That was a yeah, homecoming. Yeah, on their right. So man, Arkansas you, homecoming. you only scored seven points on Arkansas. Okay, man. We can score 14. Okay, I'm going to give them four. They should not score 14 points against us, man, if they can't score seven against Arkansas. I don't think I don't think they should score more than ten. I, okay, I mean, I say 10. we got we got to keep in mind that Will Rogers, their quarterback, was hurt last week. But yeah. he ain't playing this week though. He ain't playing this week either. I thought he was playing this week. Nah, they he ain't playing this week. Mm-mm. Okay, well they might be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> One of ten on third down they were. I, I, I looked at these stats honestly, guys. I looked at these stats and I was like, and y'all could check, man, why I'm doing this. I was like, this this cannot be right. One or ten third down, 205 total yards. Was that right? 85 in yeah, the air right. and 120 on the ground. That's right. 3.3 right. yards of carry. That's right. Come on, bro. If listen, man, if Auburn lose this game, man, we I'll just be back on here next week crying. All right, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but like no. This. If Auburn loses this game, it says a lot about the coaching staff, man. It says a yeah. lot. Yeah, I, I said the same thing, Nate. I said it's gonna say a lot about. Thing. It's gonna say a lot about the coaching staff because I don't know if y'all remember, but early in the season, I think we had asked a question. I don't know if it was on, on here on the Water Cooler Talk podcast, mm-hmm. but we asked, um, "How do y'all feel about um, Hugh Freeze coming in?" Mm-hmm. And I know I said I wasn't that thrilled about it because I just felt like Hugh Freeze was Gus Malzahn 2.0. Yeah, you said <laughs> that. You said that. You said I said I, I said I said that I think Hugh Freeze will win some games that he's not supposed to win, and mm-hmm. he'll lose some games he's supposed to win. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. This, this will say a lot about the coaching staff, and I, I, I just I'm just holding on hope that talent just beats the other team <laughs> this this weekend. Yeah, I'm just it's like, bro. Here. Yes, man. Mississippi State, come on, bro. Two hundred and five total yards. I know, bro. We doing some of the same kind of stuff. But we are we are at home. They are coming off only seven points, man. They offense bad too. Yeah. So it's just their offense. You know, their defense gonna be salty, man. Because Arnett gonna have a salty defense. But we oh, yeah. should win this game, man. Let me ask y'all this: We went into this weekend, oh, well, last weekend, Ole Miss, talking about the quarterback position, and everybody was on man we need to let Robbie play let Robbie have a whole series let Robbie have you know whatever let Robbie play 
after last week's performance and what you saw, how do you look at the quarterback situation now? Do you look at our quarterback situation the same way you viewed it before the Ole Miss game, or is it different? Nick? Still think Payne Thorne is trash. Okay. Um, I, it's it's hard. To, okay, I'm going to preface this. It's hard to say because it feels as if there are two different offenses, two different offenses for two different quarterbacks. That's exactly how it feels. Um. And it, and this is this is the perception I get from when I see the game. It feels as if uh, Montgomery is calling plays for Thorn, and it feels as if when Robbie gets in the game, Hugh Freeze is calling play, plays for Robbie. So mm-hmm. there's no cohesion, no consistency there at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we, I think I think you need. Well, it's too late in the season now, but I think you have to find a quarterback. Settle on that one person and tailor the offense to their strengths. Mm-hmm. And we did not do that at all. Mm-hmm. We didn't. We we didn't do that. Um, so my feelings are, you're gonna probably see more of the same um, this week as you've seen the first seven weeks. Um, so you're gonna see a lot of struggles um, and things of that nature from the quarterback position. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of inconsistency. Inconsistency uh, because, excuse me, because. Um, you don't know if they're going to be running, you know, Robbie in for one series, then throwing in for another series, then Robbie in for another series, then throwing in. You don't know what's coming. But Coach Freeze did say that, you know, in his presser at the end, at the, at the, I don't know if it was after the game or on the Monday presser, he was like, um, he doesn't know if there is a package for Robbie or or if Robbie should be on, on the field every down. Paraphrasing what he mm-hmm. said, mm-hmm. sort of kind of what he said. Mm-hmm. So. Actually, I mean, after hearing that, I'm actually kind of interested in seeing what might happen. Uh, will Thorne be the star, starter? Um, or will Robbie be the starter? And if they will just stick with one and see what happens. Uh, so that I, I, you stick with one and you you tell the offense to that to that particular guy's strength and you live with the results. That's what you got to do. Marcus, has your you changed? I know you were saying Robbie. Has your view changed to just like get all to Robbie or what, what you think, man? I gotta agree with Nick. Mm-hmm. Like I, I said that earlier in the season. Like we gotta pick a quarterback sooner than later. But we still, we still played this game and we seen what happened. So mm-hmm. like, I can't disagree with Nick, man. Like we should have, we should have did it sooner. But since since we didn't make that choice, we stuck with what we what we yeah. doing to the end of the season. So it's just like, just stop, <laughs> buckle up and and and. And let's ride the rest of the season on out. So, <laughs> so it's just like, bro, and and it's just like he, it's like he's saying the same thing over and over, and it's just like, bro, we keep doing the same thing over. It's like it's not changing, bro. And it's like, okay, we got to get on the same page. Man, we got five games. The season almost over. So, are y'all yeah. saying we gonna get on the same page for next year? Because this season is almost over, bro, and they still talking about a package and, you know, putting in Robbie and switching out quarterbacks and we need to get on the same page. The receiver's not on the same page. I'm like, bro, this is game – what, game – we're going into game nine? Is eight. eight or nine? Game eight. Yeah, we're going into game eight, bro. The season is almost over. Yeah. And we still talking the same thing we was talking in week one. Like, bro, how long – just say, man, we – Ain't got an ounce, and we just gonna keep trying what we trying. I that's you, really what it is. I mean, I, that's what it seems. You know what I'm saying? Question: Do you feel like? Do you feel like Coach Freeze is kind of throwing people under the bus a little bit? Oh, no doubt. <laughs> like, I mean, because like, because you know, I was like, I had to go back and listen to some of the um, some of the pressers, and I've never heard a coach talk about, "Hey, we need talent. We need people." I'm like. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to say the people on the roster not good enough? No, man. Like, that's, I mean, it ain't know what he's trying to say. That's man, what he's saying, saying, bro. I'm he's telling saying you. That. Like, hey, man. Dude, like, yeah. That's what like, I told like, y'all. I mean, I be on the Hugh Freeze press conference every week because they are, man, they are exciting to listen to because he just like tell the truth. And the last one he was saying, and I'm going to get on this, but he was saying that Philip Montgomery, he says he's going to call plays for now. Uh, that that's the paraphrase. He was like, for now, but he, what he was saying is 
because of the terminology that Philip has that, you know, he gave him the offense, which mm -hmm. I think he gave him the keys to the car and then make a spare because he's going with Philip Montgomery's um, terminology. So what he said in the press conference is, man, I got more involved into the red zone stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And dude just threw him under the bus. He was like, yeah, but we can't get to the red zone. I was like, golly. Yeah, I mean, this, you know, you, I mean, okay, as a leader, I mean, I don't know if that's a good strategy or not. It's not. Yeah. Gonna, it's, I don't think that's a good strategy because I, I will. I, I mean, you can't sit here and say the whole team trash. Yeah, you can't hey, sit here and say that. It's a lot of talented dudes on this team. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's the maybe it's the strategy from the coaching staff. Yeah, that, yeah. That, 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 let's, that, let's that, talk that, about it, Nick. That, he, that, that's not putting them in the right position to win. And he's you know, saying that. Like, he's saying that. He's saying that, that, that too, man. He's saying I mean, this. He's saying this to coaches. But too. that's something. But that's something that I've just heard him say, literally this past week. Mm -hmm. Every week before that, it's been, man. Some things Payne Thorne did. It ain't. You know, it's some stuff he did. And then he'll throw. He, then he'll throw a little something that'll be like, oh yeah, but we gotta help him out too a little bit. Yeah. But 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 you sat there for five minutes and kind of trash Payne Thorne. But did you bit. see the the comment he made on Robbie? And he brought he shined the light on that thing, bro. And that's kind of why I'm asking the question because he brought the light a lot of mistakes Robbie made. You know what I'm saying? Like he brought the light. I never really even analyzed it. When, when I when he said it, I analyzed it and I was like, golly, he was like the first player of the game. He said the first player of the game, Robbie did a did a misread. If you go back and look at the first play of the game when Robbie came on the field, he was supposed to he said freeze said he was supposed to hand the ball off. And if you I, look I at go man, it's amazing. Even like one of I think AL.com just put just the play out there on, mm -hmm. on you know for everybody to see. But when he announced that, I went back and looked at the first play. Man, if you look at the play, it's set up beautifully. Okay. When Hunter came around, if he would have gave the ball, now he'll say he would have it was a 50-yard gainer. He was like, Man, he would have gained 50 yards, you know. Mm -hmm. But if he would have handed that ball off, bro, the stadium would have went crazy it because the setup everybody hit their blocks man if he would have if he would have gave it to him and he would have hit that alley mm -hmm. he might I, I, i'm gonna have to go with you if you look at the play y'all look at the play and tell me y'all tell me when we do the um show the next show look at that play and tell me when he if he would have hit that if hunter would have hit that alley like i know he could hit it it might have been a touchdown but what robbie did is he came in the game probably got hyped up and he admitted he had to come out and make a statement. He was like, on the first play of the game, dude, I didn't get a ball where it was supposed to go. He was like, I was trying to do too much, got over aggressive, and I kept the ball. Gotcha. So he faked the ball and tried to run it himself. You know, and I don't know if he got caught up in the excitement, into the excitement of the game or what, man. But yeah, he freeze. And he was, job. Yeah, man. But I'm like, bro, if he would have just handed the ball off, man, go back and look at that play. That was, but that's why I was asking because he, Hugh Freeze was like, man, buddy. You know what I'm saying? He was like shining the light on his mistakes. And what's your, the, like the, and I know uh, Thorne had a lot, but like the out, the, the fourth down, what a, what was that fourth down or third down? He threw the interception. Mm -mm, not that one. That was egregious. When he like, um, did, when he didn't extend and get the first down oh, and just yeah. jumped out of bounds. Yeah, that was third down. I was like, bro, why are you like jumped out of bounds? Like, you know, but hey. So that's what I'm asking. Yeah, uh, y'all think like y'all view the same that they should just because I think with the quarterback situation, bro, they're going with this two system, man. You can't every everybody can't get the full reps, right? Very true. So that means you splitting reps. Very so true. if Robbie was getting all the reps, he may have progressed to a greater degree by now. Or if Peyton Thorne was getting all the reps, so you got to be splitting reps in practice. Agree. I would assume. Agree. I just feel I feel like one coach want one quarterback and the other one want another one. Okay, that's how I feel. I don't I don't know. I'm not privy to any inside information. That's just how I, that's just what it looks like to me. It just feels like one coach, mm -hmm. it's like the offense coordinator want one and the head coach wants another one. That's how it feels. But, so what's y'all prediction? Well, he don't already say we gonna go on two again. <laughs> Bro, stick with one quarterback. Come on, man. <laughs> like, dude, stick with one quarterback, man. 
Hey, it like was, I said, bro, but it be like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to do like the funds, bro. You got to just be like, bro, I'm wrong, man. I was wrong. I just <laughs> evaluated I was wrong. That's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. DC. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like Payne Thorne had a longer leash than Robert Ashford. God, mm -hmm. what? What? So, like, like, what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. Like, let's, let's get back to what showed signs of being effective last year. Mm hmm. So like like yo yo the experiment didn't work. We tried it, we tried it, we tried it again. <laughs> and he take that truck back. That's what he need to do. <laughs> and he take that truck back from Peyton Thor. That's all I'm gonna say, man. <laughs> Bro, that truck need to go ahead and go back. <laughs> Lot it was on, man. That's and I ain't gonna lie, man. In this era, it might just be my eyes, man. But and it, it just seemed like two man. I'm, I'm not going to say, see, this is a question I have. With NIL the way it is, man, does it seem like these players getting paid? It's just like, man, it's like, the where's the fire? Like, I wonder if, like, them getting paid is just like, man, we good. We getting paid, man, y'all, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I'm saying? It just seems like that sometimes. Like, cats oh, ain't showing up. That, that, I, I can see where you're coming from from that, but is it kind of like a Harson thing to where, is he really a, a culture fit for Auburn. Mm -hmm. like, it's throwing a coach, like mm. it's throwing the right culture quarterback for Auburn. Like, come on, let's 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 think about it. Like, is it the, the, does it feel right to y'all? It doesn't even it doesn't it doesn't look right. It don't even feel I just right. Say it don't look right. No, it don't look yeah. right at all. <laughs> The way the way it's looking is affecting my feelings. <laughs> all right, DC, I agree with that one. The way it's looking, it ain't looking right, and it ain't feeling right. Feeling man. right. Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Man. I, I don't know. It just I don't know, man. I'm I'm just so over this whole quarterback position thing with Auburn because I think Holden should have got a chance. But you know, oh they, man, go back to Holden. Back to Holden. When they put Holden in the game, what did Holden do? Man, Holden just like man, that was oh, a man, bad play call. Yeah, that but you got okay, you got one job. You got one job. But if the man is open, throw it to him. If he won't even open, the no, hold up. Up. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting you, Nick. You got one job holding. You not under center. You not doing all that stuff. You don't have to read the defense and do all this different kind of stuff. You got one job. If this man is open, let it rip. If he man, ain't he, open, throw it out of bounds. Man, by the time he caught the ball, the dude was in his face. Bro, he could have he right at the out of bounds. He could have chucked it right. He could have threw it out of bounds, falling down. No, I, no, that's that, that's a penalty. You can't throw no. it out. Of, the only person that can yes, throw it out of bounds is is the he's the, on the line of scrimmage. He's not, on the uh, line of scrimmage. No, the only person that can that can throw it out of bounds is the person that gets it first. If right, that, but that's what I'm saying. Person touching it first. Okay, so he couldn't he couldn't throw it away. I if I'm if I'm correct, I don't think he could throw that ball away. He either had to tuck it and run it or something. Or if he catches it behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, because he's not because he'll be considered a second pass. He'll be be considered a second thrower. So on the second, you can still throw the ball forward. Yeah, I'm just he like can't he, can still bounds, throw it. he can't throw it out Why of bounds. He can't throw it out of bounds. He can. Okay, all right. I'm gonna look that. I'm gonna look that. Yeah, up. look it up, man. That's man. I'm up. not gonna lie. And you learn something every day, like I was telling my daughter. It's like you can know football forever, but it's like you like constantly evolving and learning stuff, man. But that's something good to look up, man. Because I'm just like, why, you know. Even if it was it the question is, is was there a receiver in the area? It had to be a receiver in the area because he had block. Didn't he have a blocker in front of him? Yeah, he was. They was in a diamond. Up. They was in a three set. They blew that blocker up. That dude was in his face so quick, man. Okay, so this is the question: if if the blocker is the eligible receiver, right, and then you you are behind the blocker, you get the ball and you falling backwards, he's still in front of you. You can throw it over his head out of bounds. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm looking. Okay. For the All right. Why you? Yeah, yeah. But back, but back on holding, man. It's just like, dude. I don't know where they were on the field, man. But it's like, bro, you can't eat that and just take that set. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, get rid of it, man. Get rid of it, dude. Like you had one job, and I, when he did that, I was like, okay, that's why holding ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was that, like, we just that, got a that, comedy that, of errors. That is, that is not what I hold it ain't. What he said? What he say? Hold it. Say, he, he called me and said the exact same thing. He like, see, man, that's why I hold it ain't playing right there. <laughs> man, but y'all can't judge that off of one play though. That's just I agree that's with just you. Nick. I agree that's with you. Nick. 
that's that's what, just, that's, that was, that was that my was response. Bad trick play. That was a bad trick play called at the wrong time. When you uh, you didn't even been in the game mm-hmm. and you decide you want to line them up at wide receiver and, and, and the defense see that they're like, oh, this is a trick play all day. Uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta throw that one away, man. I'm gonna go back and look at that. You gotta throw it away, though, man. You gotta get rid of that ball, man. All right, man. Let's go to the next question, man. Why you you looking at up, Nick? Yeah, I'm reading. Okay. Now. Awesome. I'm okay. To All right, and we'll, so we'll go with Marcus, man. Um, what Marcus? What are the keys to the game on offense, man? What do they need to do on the offense? Number one, and what does the quarterback uh, stat line need to look? Like as far as percentage, what what kind of percentage you need to have? Maybe a yard. You can give me yards. What does the um offensive stat line need to look like, man? What do they need to do? Talk to me. <laughs> wow, that was that says a lot right there. That says a lot. Yeah, man, this is like, a lot. Golly. All right. Uh first, before we just before before they test the field, they need to pray. <laughs> and then after they pray. <laughs> pray again and then <laughs> bruh he said they need to pray they need to pray oh, man. <laughs> man. they need brother check they need brother check to come pray <laughs> yeah for real hey man get Jack Quinn Hunter the ball man okay uh, he he's the key get him the ball get get back by the ball get get the running game going and 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 just Control the clock, bro. Cause uh, I, I... you see, you freeze it. <laughs> you see, when the you ball in the uh, man. doesn't okay. seem very likely for us. So mm-hmm. I guess we got to stick with what what we know, man. Mm-hmm. Keep feeding the running game and keep controlling the ball. Man. That's sad, man. That's just sad, bro. I know Mississippi State fans coming in here looking at this. They just like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> They, probably like, man, they can't they even not. talk a positive game plan, man. It's hard, man. It's hard, man. Come on, man. I'm going to cheer y'all up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm hyped, man, because I, I feel like that defense is weak enough for us to run all over them. But okay. it's it's just. Dang, that's a positive. Yeah, that, that's that's a positive. But, man, and, 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 and hopefully we can find at least one or two explosive pass plays. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hopefully, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's bad man, when you like, laugh at that, bro. This is horrible. This is horrible. But it, it's like if you if 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 I'm looking at our offense, man, it's just like I don't see nothing in the SEC play that that encourages me anything that we like. I'm like Nick, man. <laughs> Paint throwing is is the worst thing, man. It's just spoiled milk, man. Golly, man. man. Jesus, man. Dang. Nick, look at Nick looking, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Nick, right? This is a comedy. I don't, just a comedy. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. I'm just going to be completely honest. I, okay, I give you a stat. Okay, line. give me a stat. What, what? Okay, what does the offense need to do? And what's the stat line? All right. So I don't know who the quarterback going to be. So whoever the quarterback. Both. Is. Both. Okay, both quarterbacks. Okay, let's give them individual stat line. Let's give them individual stat lines. Okay. Mm-hmm. Payne Thorne. Mm-hmm. 18 of 24. Ooh. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a I'm, lot. I'm just saying 18 of 24. <laughs> I don't see it either, DC. <laughs> 200 and if he can give you 235 in the air, another 50 on the ground maybe. Uh, hey, you, that's uh, a good Quinn. quarterback stat line, Nick. Yeah, you're right. That, that, that'll, be, that'll be great. That'll be that'll be something that we can we Jesus, can, man. You know what I'm saying? Out, man. We you just barely broke a hundred, right, man. Yeah, we just barely, do. We just barely broke a hundred. If he yards, throws right? over two hundred yards, he has thrown more yards than he has thrown in one game the yeah. entire if season. He throws man. over two hundred yards. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I don't have nothing for it. <laughs> I don't have nothing for it. I don't know. That's it. I don't know what. I don't know what to do. I okay. Know. I'm gonna just say. I'm gonna say one one fifty. Can we get? Dude, yeah. I can't believe I'm saying right. this. Can we get one hundred and fifty yards passing? How many no, attempts please. and how many completions? No. DC? No, we can't. Man, we he can't. need to be we like eighteen of twenty-four. Yeah, yeah, eighteen of twenty-four <laughs> for one fifty. Bro, they can just dink and dunk. Okay, I just 
I think twenty. I, I me mean, in my personal opinion, I think twenty four pass attempts is too many for him. It's a lot. It's a lot of it. That's too many for him because I smell an interception in on twenty four. Maybe two. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, okay so, so yeah, if he could just give me one fifty, man, and about if he could give me one fifty, like you say, eighteen or twenty four, it could just be like you know zero routes, hit them, the, the running back out of the backfield, you know, what I'm saying they don't have to be explosive twenty yard plays. Just give me consistent passing, consistent catching, you know, what I'm saying, so we can just move the chains, man. Bump that in with the running game, man. Just, just give me 170. Man, these dudes had, what, 205 yards total. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me 150. Dude, give me 150 and 150. 150 passing and 150 rushing. And if we can do what T-Wheel did with Arkansas defense, hold them to 205 yards and seven points, man, I can't believe we even saying this with Hugh Freeze. And they asked Hugh Freeze, man. They said Hugh – is this have you ever had an offense like this? Did this bad? He was like, No, I ain't never had an offense. This yes, bad. he did in high school. He did. No, I guess he was speaking about college ranks. He was like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even see the I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't even see the 150 passing this week. Nick, I, might, I might have to give you a super chat myself for you, like <laughs> how you just trying to power through the show. And try I'm to trying. Find some I mean, look, look, I I don't expect nothing different from this Auburn team from this Auburn team. This okay. Week. No, I no, I, I agree. I, yeah, that's not that's one thing I'm not gonna do is be a blind loyalist man and just like yeah. set myself up for failure. I, I'm not doing it. Uh, you know, because I tried it two weeks in a row, DC, and it came back to bite me <laughs> both times. So I'm I'm cool. I'm going, going I am on. cool. Cause I, I, cause me, I'm thinking to myself like Nick, we gonna make the adjustments. He going that's why I'm like, I, I'm not encouraged anymore. Cause I thought I'm like, all right, we gonna pick one quarterback. We are gonna see that mm -hmm. pay throwing is not the answer. We are gonna pick mm -hmm. one quarterback. We are gonna find a strength mm -hmm. in in a game plan, and we gonna and we gonna go from there. Never happened. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, man, and I, 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 I'm gonna be on, and this is just my thought. I think I think. Coach Freeze tried. To, I think he tried to get Robbie the job. I think he was like, "Here go, man. Here go the keys, bro. Go out there and drive this car." He ain't try hard yeah. enough. No, no. Listen, man. Check this out, though. Check Coach this out. Coach Freeze froze out. <laughs> right, but what I'm saying is this: He gave Robbie the keys. Mm -hmm. If Robbie would have came out there and executed that first drive. And executed and scored, bro. I think, bro, it, everybody have been like, all right, let's ride with this cat. But Robbie, it's like you have all this confusion going on offense, all this trashness on offense, and then you put Robbie out there, dude, in the first play of the game, bro, he just make an error. That Like the first <laughs> play, you give him the perfect play, set it up. All he got to do is hand the ball off. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. again, I, you know, I press this by saying I know their job is a 10 million times harder than anything we could probably even think of. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's a part of the game. You're going to get criticism. You get praise when you score. You're going to get criticism when you don't. True. Very true. But my man, all he had to do, and he admitted himself, so it's not this some kind of hot take. It, all he had to do was just hand the ball off, man. And we could have had a positive game, explosive play, the first play of the game. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you, we do all this talking. We want Robin put and do put him in. And so he like, see what I be dealing with? Yeah. See what I'm dealing with in practice? I'm it's like all I'm that. asking him to do is simple stuff. And I ain't saying he free saying this, but I can see what that's a thought. Like, okay, all I asked him to do was hand the ball off. <laughs> and Buddy like kept it and trying to, I don't know, I don't know what he was trying to do, but, you know, I can see that. So that's neither here nor there, man. On to the next question, man. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. The way y'all reacting and sound like we're going to lose this game. I'm just being honest with you. The way y'all answering these questions. No, I just speak to how sorry Mississippi State is, but I wasn't going to disrespect them. <laughs> huh? I wasn't going to disrespect them, but you, you keep you keep laying on uh, thick, DC. Yeah, but I'm, just, but I'm just, but I'm just, you know, what I'm saying, though, I'm, I told you in my feelings, I'm apprehensive, bro, because I'm like, We this might is, lose, my, we might this lose feeling. this game, bro. I'm like, <laughs> this is just hard to like. This, it's just this, hard to take. And no disrespect to Mississippi State, bro. It's hard to see Auburn lose to Mississippi State three years in a row. 
Bro, this will be three years in a row, man. What? We lost to Ole Miss for the first time two years in what in back, Jordan, two years back to back, man. If, how, how many other years? So we finna lose to the Mississippi schools if we lose Saturday. We're five straight to the Mississippi schools. That's sad, man. But right we on Vanderbilt level right now, man. Man, we can't go that low. No. Bro, yes, you know, we are. We can't go that low. No. We on Vanderbilt level right now. We can't go that low. And, I, and bro, I understand, bro. We got a proud brand and a proud history, and I think that's what's holding us up. All right, let me tell you, ask you this. While we finna go to the next thing, Nick, and I, I'm telling you, man, I'm a realist, and I got to keep it real. Oh, man. Look up the SEC standings. What is Vanderbilt record? What is Vanderbilt record, man? I'm, I'm, cu- I'm just curious. Let's see. I'm curious. Look, look up the SEC up. standings. Tell me. Look up the East standings. Um, but DC, let's, all right. Okay, we, go ahead, Marcus. If we gonna be, if we gonna be real, look at the games that we lost. Okay. Every team that we lost to, what is honestly was in the preseason pick as a top twenty-five team. Mm-hmm. So like, and and if you be uh, if we were being honest, we played two of those teams very tough mm-hmm. without. Without a true quarterback, so in my opinion, it, we should talent wise, we should like Nick said, we should be able to beat Mississippi State on a bad day. But we we have lost to them the last two years, though. You see what I'm saying? It's oh, like, bro, oh, we thinking we thinking like Cam Newton and Nick Marshall, all them cats still there. And uh, listen, man. W- Everybody listening, everybody listening in Auburn at TV land. Everybody turn all your radio down, quiet the kids, and listen. We have lost to Mississippi State the last two years. We have lost to Ole Miss the last two years. But it's like, think about it. It's like, bro, we call on them sorry, but they, we have lost the last two times we played South Carolina, bro. We lost to them. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? It's like, bro, well, we calling these teams sorry. But they have beat us. All of them have beat us too straight. All of them. No, no, bro, I'm scared. No with them. I'm, Honestly, no. y'all, I'm scared of the Vanderbilt game. But no disrespect, man. Like, this is this is me. Okay. This is a personal opinion. This is personal mm-hmm. feeling. I don't – I didn't value no season under up under Brian Hatch. I, I didn't respect him when he came in. And oh, I didn't my respect God. Him when he wow. Left. Wow, wow! Oh man, that's, what? That's what? God, to be more careful. What? what? <laughs> they didn't respect Brian Harson, man. God, ah. Oh. See, I, I I messed up his last name because I, I I forgot it. Mm. Mm. So uh, you didn't, I, you didn't I, respect I, Coach Haskins. I didn't. I didn't respect Coach. Haskins. I would say it from the beginning, man. Brian Harson was doomed before he even stepped foot in Auburn. I would keep saying that to the day. Whenever it wasn't a fit, like if we being really honest, he wasn't a fit for the culture. If we talking mm-hmm. about coaches for the culture, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay, y'all, let, let, let's, let's and we gonna keep going. He was hired we, by a, a AD that 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 specialize in what baseball. That is Ooh. not true. Ooh. That is not true. Ooh. 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 That is not true. That man built that man built a bunch of programs. Man, you ain't talking. You can talk about Green, Allen Green, like that. Man, he built a bunch of programs up. Uh, did a great football? job. Well, yes, did a great job at Buffalo for football. With football, and he did a good job at Ole Miss before he left to go to Buffalo. I mean, I ain't, I, yeah, I ain't got no beef with Allen Green, man. No, that nah, that, that whole that, I'm like with Marcus. With Marcus, though, I agree with it wasn't a good culture fit, and somebody didn't read the room, dude. That somebody whole, didn't read the room, man. That whole situation was doomed from the, from the jump, and everybody knew that. Yeah, and, and yeah, that's yeah, yeah. it. That's, we that, all agree on that. That had that yeah. had nothing besides football. Mm-hmm. That's behind the scenes Auburn stuff. <laughs> that, that has yeah, stuff. but like you said, it's it's culture, man. It's it's culture, dude. You gotta have the right fit culturally, man. That's why Prime probably not there right now. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly. that's probably why he's not at Auburn no, right now, man. It's white, you know, for the electricity and all, all the hype and all that stuff around the program, it would have been awesome. But man, in the long run, I don't think that would have been a great fit. You know what I'm saying? I think it would have been some issues. But let me ask y'all this. Let's let's go with the defense, man. What does the defense have to do? Keep doing what they're doing. Keep doing what they're doing. <laughs> they gotta keep doing what they're doing, man. They got to. They go and the piggyback and the piggyback off of Marcus's point uh mm-hmm. earlier. 
Mm-hmm. Um, the we we lost we we lost. Okay, so we've lost to Texas A&M. Mm-hmm. We lost to um, Georgia, uh, mm-hmm. LSU, and mm-hmm. Ole Miss. Mm-hmm. Uh, we lost what twenty six twenty to Texas A and M. We lost yeah, twenty. No, we didn't. We lost twenty seven to twenty to Georgia. You said what, what was the score on Texas A and M? You didn't think we got stunk, huh? Twenty six twenty. The offense scored three points, bro. The defense scored. Yeah, touchdown. but I'm just saying. I mean, to me, that you said what was the score again? Twenty six twenty. Twenty six to ten, right? No. Texas and M. We only scored 10 points, bro. In that game? Did we? Yeah. The, the offense only scored about? three points. What am I talking about? Hold up. I don't Ooh. know. We got thumped in that game, bro. Let's see. I might Texas and M, unless I'm remembering wrongly, and if I am, um, forgive me. I thought we only scored yeah, 10 Yeah, 2017, my bad. Yeah, we, bro. The offense only scored three points. Yeah. So, uh, but, okay, that don't even make my point. But what I was trying to say was, <laughs> What I was trying to say was this. You tried, man. You tried. You tried. You saw what I was trying to say was even against you know Georgia and especially against Ole Miss, we lost uh-huh. by seven points. We okay. lost by a total of seven points. Uh, well, fourteen points uh, total between those two games. If mm-hmm. you really want to think about it, if you're really thinking about it for real, for real, mm-hmm. um, the only team that really thumped us, and I, and you know what, I won't even say Texas A and M thumped us. I'm not even gonna say that. I'm not, I'm, a, I'm gonna say the defense, the defense got tired at the end of the game. I would say that because that was a closer game um, going into the fourth quarter than what it, than what the, end, the, the than what the score actually was at the end of the game. Mm-hmm. I will say that, but the only team that I really think that really beat us down was LSU. Yeah, every God, other, I every about that. every other game, That's every other game we That's were really in, awesome, every man. other game we played, every other loss we had, we were in the game. It's just that our defense kept us in the game. Mm-hmm. Defense kept us in, kept us in the game. And going to the Texas A&M game, the defense just wore down at the end of the game. And Texas A&M and Max Johnson, Max Johnson was that dude. He made two great throws Jesus at the man. end on a defense that was just tired, apparently. And it just – and the offense wasn't – it's not a comfort behind offense. So that's that's how I see that. So Auburn is – I don't know. It's, it's weird because I think Auburn is somewhere. I don't know if they are at the point where they can just – you know, we can just be like – we can be like we almost at the point where we can break through. <laughs> I don't know. Auburn is somewhere. We somewhere. somewhere. Okay, let I'm me ask y'all this. And while we're on the defense, if it, you saying breakthrough, it has to be an offensive breakthrough because of, bro, I think the defense playing at their ceiling. I think they at the ceiling, man. You think so? That's, yeah, that's, I think that's that's kind of hurtful. It is. Kinda, I think the defense at the hurt. ceiling, man. It is kind of hurtful. Now, aside, now, hold on. Aside from like busted play, like b- scheme bust. I'm saying, bro. As far as the talent we have, and uh, that is, I'm not sliding the defense. You see what I'm saying? I'm not sliding the defense. What I'm saying is, I think the defense is playing at a very good level. Mm-hmm. If the offense would just come to that level, I think you would see the defense and be like, okay, they are better than I thought they were. You follow what I'm saying? It wasn't that that comment wasn't a slight. I think they're at the ceiling. I think they're playing at a level. They're playing at a winning level. If the offense okay. would meet them, it's possible, bro. We can only have one loss right now. Yeah, we've been saying oh, that. You oh, see what oh, I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, what, it wasn't a slight. Yeah. It was saying that the defense doing what they're supposed to do. I don't think that they have to do all this breaking through and yeah, you know, they don't have to break through anything. I think they're where this they're, they're doing good, they're where they're supposed to be if they just kind of handle a few little things, you know, yeah. as far as play bust and things of that nature. But the few little things is the offense they ain't on the field. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it, I mean, that too. Yeah, so we've been we've been there for the longest. Yeah, yeah. That, that too. Yeah, I, they I don't think they drive. Mm-hmm. They can sustain drives and keep the demons off the field so they can rest. I mean, right. We've been right. saying that's just game four. <laughs> it's yeah. just game three, game four. I mean, that's. I mean, that's that's. I'm, it's just the offense. The offense mm-hmm. is the problem with this team. Yeah, really that's, yeah, yeah, I agree. that's it. So, I agree with that, man. I agree with that. The worst so offenses let's, I ever seen, man. It's so what now? Yeah, I said this is one of the worst offenses I ever seen, man. Yeah, this is worse scary. than last year, man. This is worse than last year. Yeah, this is worse than that last year. Because uh, and I, and the reason I say that, and the reason I say that, is it is, worse than twenty ten with Cal? Was twenty ten two thousand nine with Cal Frazier? <sighs> Cal Frazier was pretty bad. Hey, that was a good. One. That's a good comparison. <laughs> that's a good comparison. Kyle Frazier was pretty bad. 
Kyle Frazier was bad, man. Cody Burns was bad too, bro. Cody Burns was bad. Bro. Not the beloved Cody Burns. No. Man. <laughs> Cody, that, that, Cody, when Cody got under the center, bro, he, Cody was bad, bro. I remember like, man. I was like, bro, he can't hit the side of a barn. <laughs> Oh my God! Straight up, man, he was. He, I mean, it's evident. It ain't no slight against him. He moved the receiver, so it was evident yeah. that you know Kyle right. Frazier tried to move the safety. He moved the receiver that because there was a young man by the name of Cam Newton. Yeah, man, yeah. came in. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Did that? Did that deal? So let's <laughs> get that. Listen, since bro, did... this is depressing. Okay. <laughs> You supposed, supposed to be hype. I'm you trying know, to, man. I'm trying. To be hype. I'm trying. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying to. Supposed to win this game. We gonna be like, yeah, man. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, man. We sitting here like, I don't even know, man. It's. It, I'm so telling you, talking man. about the offense, man. Like when we talk about the game in general, I feel good. But every time you say Auburn offense, I be like, man, hold up, wait. Let me think about this. Man, I'm telling Mississippi State fans in here, like, bro, we got a chance, man. And y'all do. Y'all do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get them no hope. They do, man. I'm going to just be honest. They do. Like I said, bro, this is one thing that I don't want to ever do as long as I'm doing this show is be a sunshine pumping blind loyalist. He go by the way. <laughs> he go to listen to. Nah, bro, nah, nah, not that at all. No. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm that dude. I'm going to pull for him. I'm, man, Saturday, Lord, good Lord willing, I make it to Saturday. I'm going to be there pulling for him, man, and screaming at the TV. But I'm not going to trick myself. <laughs> I'm not going to trick myself, this man, and going for like, I'm, I'm not tricking myself, man, and like, you know, the, you know how Bama fans be doing, like, bro, we're going to win because we Bama. It's like, bro, it's, that's what make their fall so epic. And I'm not saying all of them because you got saying bad fans, but it's like that's what make their fall so epic, man. It's like they just be we gonna win because the ghost of Bad Brian. You know, like bro, come on, man, look at the game, <laughs> look at the game, bro, look at what's going on. Oh my so, gosh, that's no. what make it epic. So I'm not gonna do that to myself, man. I'm not gonna set myself up to go in front of that TV, man, and like thinking we gonna win, bro. I'm expecting. We gonna win, you no? Know, yeah, I'm expecting that, bro. But I'm if if we lose, bro, it won't be unexpected. I'll just be like, dude, we bet worse than we thought, and we probably gonna lose to Vanderbilt. Nah, we ain't gonna lose to Vanderbilt. That ain't gonna happen. Okay, that, <laughs> that's what Tony Franklin said before he got fired. That ain't gonna happen. We ain't gonna lose to Vanderbilt. <laughs> that's the same. That's the same thing, Tony. That's the speech Tony Franklin came in. He was like, "All right, guys, we look bad, but you know what?" We're not gonna lose the Vanderbilt. <laughs> Next thing I saw, Vanderbilt. Tony Frank. Did you see that Tony Franklin carrying the books? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I saw, Tony Franklin carrying them, carrying them books, putting them in his car, bro. Yeah. yeah uh, we're not gonna lose the Vanderbilt. I'm out, guys. I'm out. <laughs> hey, man. But man, usually when we lose the Vanderbilt, somebody get fired, man. So, uh, bro, if uh, we lose the Mississippi State and Vanderbilt, man, what? Okay. We're gonna be the scapegoat. It's kind of going somewhere. Yeah, it's going somewhere. We're gonna we about to do the picks, y'all. But it, if we lose the Mississippi State and Vanderbilt, bro, something got so, somebody got to get an axe, bro. Just because if we lose the oh, see, that's the most obvious one. You know what I'm saying? He that's that's most, that's why I said it, Nick. Got bro, it. we winding down, but this show is starting to get cooked right now because I got a few things. Okay, who get the axe if you, you think somebody get the axe if we lose to Vanderbilt? Yes, I do. Okay, Marcus, you think somebody get the axe? My bad, go ahead. No, go ahead, Marcus. Yeah, I want to. I say the office of coordinator because it can't be nobody else but him because defense is playing good this year. The office look horrible. And he, if we could, if we, if, if Hugh Freeze even, we can't even think about Hugh Freeze because that's three quarter, I mean, the three head coaches in the past. Like, not nah, Gus, Jesus, Brian, man. Yeah. Man. Jesus, man. Freeze. Yeah. And but what I, okay, let me ask y'all this while we right here. Didn't Kent Austin come from Liberty he, with him? He, yes, he did. Okay. This is the, this is what I don't understand. And when I go to a press conference and all that, and my daughter was like, you don't need to go. But my question would be, if you was going to turn over the offense to somebody, 
why not just bring Ken Austin in and let him run? He if he's come from Liberty with you, he know the offense. Let him just run the offense, and you you know what I'm saying you do like Gus. That means you still got keys to the offense. Let him run the offense, and then when you want to step in, you comfortable, you know it. You can just step in, shuffle the deck, play your little cards, and get back to him like Gus did. He kept the same <laughs> offense, so he could take over any time. I don't understand why he didn't bring the you know Liberty offense with him and just let Kent Austin just run it. I've been, I've been saying that. I've been saying that the whole Gus and Red Lashley dynamic. That's yeah. what it yeah. needed to be. Red yeah. Lashley was OC on paper, right? But Gus was calling plays. Yeah, and then see, with <laughs> Gus, Red had been with him so long that Gus yes. could go out and recruit, yes. and Red could let set up the offense, yes. get everything about- right, same terminology and everything. But go ahead, go ahead, uh, Mark. We're not, we're not, we're not saying. No, 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 no. I'm confused. Though. Hold up, DC. Can you can 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 he can he? I want him to answer. Something. You said so. You just said previously in the show when he got hired, you thought he was Gus 2.0. Yeah. So why is he not making Gus like decisions? Uh, because of other people outside, other people behind the program. Oh. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. Okay. Mm. Be completely honest with you. It's other people, other other people behind the program that had nothing to do with football operations, but. I digress from that. Okay, that's a strong statement too. It is, it's a very strong statement, yeah. and I will live. I will, I will live by that. Yeah, that's some. Nick be having on them binoculars behind. The door <laughs> <now>. <laughs> <laughs> he coming in. He got he got the whole he athletic department bug. Yeah, he got them. He got athletic department nah, bug and everything. Nah, nah. Right, one day, <laughs> hopefully, one day, hopefully, but nah. Not the insider yet. Just hey, he got that thing booked. All right, man. What? Let's go with these score predictions, man. I'm nervous right here. What's go? Score predictions, man. Marcus, what? What's your score prediction for this game? Twenty-one seventeen, Auburn. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay, Nick. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm gonna go 2410 Auburn. 2014. No 2014 right. Auburn. I'm going 28 to 14. Okay. 28-14. Oh, you okay. know, so I think I'm going to go ahead and then I, when we come back on on the reaction show, just be mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be like, man, we couldn't even score 20 <laughs> points. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, I was over with that 21. <laughs> yeah, man. So <laughs> I think that's it, man. You know, we got we got the scores in, man. This this is this sad, man. Yes. We're supposed, we supposed to be hype for this, but we not. We trying, man. We trying, man. We trying. But you got to be, you know what I'm saying? I think everybody, you know, you got to be realistic, man. I can't. Because it's like, you, bro, you go to Sunshine Pump and then, like, they lose, then they'll start getting mad at me. Like, DC, you don't set us up for failure. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you set us up. You, you, you know, no, I, I can't do that, man. I can't, I can't do that to the fans. And, you know, I can't do it. Got to keep it real, man. If they exceed my expectations, that'll be great. <sighs> y'all tell them tell the people where they can find y'all man tell the people where they can find y'all well you can't find us in Auburn offense I know you <laughs> can't find us in Auburn offense unfortunately but man as always man we are the water cooler talk podcast uh you can find us on our YouTube channel man www.youtube.com backslash at the coolest pod 23 that's the at sign the coolest pod 23 man Find us on Instagram at the Water Cooler Talk. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Coolest Pod Twenty Three on Twitter as well, man. We post, man, every Wednesday. We have our new show come out, and we have our water break segments coming out as well. And also, we have a interview coming up that we think is going to be pretty good for us, man. A lot of people may not think it's big for us, but we think it's big for us because it's something that, that, that can kind of help us push us out there. So hopefully um, that will be coming soon within the next two weeks. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, so yeah, man. Water Cooler Talk Podcast, man. We here. We're trying to grow. 
and we appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all again so much for tuning in. Yeah, y'all go out there and follow, man. And we are at Auburn Addicts on all platforms, man. Y'all give us a listen, put us in the rotation. We had a we had an old Miss fan, man, become a subscriber, man. For real? Yeah, man. So, okay, yeah. okay. I'm I'm a, I'm I'm gonna go back, man, and I'm I'm gonna shout him out, man. I'm gonna shout him out on the next show. And we got to yeah. shout out the king of the comments every time, every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video every time we post a video. Yeah, you know yeah. he gonna put it in. The king of the comments has arrived. Shout out to Travel. I got to shout Travel out because he's been a supporter and a number one uh, from day one. So the king of the yeah, day one. What's the up? king of comments. The king of the comments. <laughs> king of the up? comments. Uh, he, he chilled me out because he's like, the king of the comments is here. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, okay, bro. Oh, shout out to Travail. I'm about to, I'm about to put a picture of Travail back on the wall, man. <laughs> <laughs> That should be the background. Oh, yeah. for, that should be the background for the reaction show. Yeah, for the final be- follows, man. Follows. Hey, man, send me a picture, Marcus. I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna put it up for the <laughs> Marcus. Send me a picture. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put this picture up in the background, man. No, I'm serious. Put it. Send me a picture. <laughs> put it up, man. Know, we gotta honor the founding father. The comments. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta honor our founding father, man. Oh man, <laughs> send a picture, man. But yeah, check with Travel to make sure it's okay. But then you know, said, "Oh, well, sue me." You know, for name, image, and likeness. Name, image, and likeness. <laughs> name, image, and likeness. Oh, snap. <laughs> you got an NIL deal. You got an NIL deal. Oh, oh snap. Oh, yeah, man. Had, had me in court, man. You know what I'm saying? Suing me for name, image, and likeness. In friends <laughs> with. <laughs> so. Oh, man. But we, we about to get out of here, y'all, man. See y'all at the Mississippi State game. Hopefully we can pull it out, man. Get some going, man. Get some positive momentum going. You know what I'm saying? Knock these tomato cans out. Boom, 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 bam. You know what I'm saying? Get this thing up to what seven and four going into the Iron Bowl, and then have us all hype and believing we can beat Alabama. You feel me? It starts this weekend. That's the hype. I'm hyping them up, Mick. I'm hyping them up. It starts this weekend. Yeah, I believe it when I see it. <laughs> I believe it. You're killing my vibes. You know what I'm saying? As my wife says, it's low vibrations. <laughs> low vibrations going on. <laughs> Got low vibrations going on right now, man. But all right, man. We'll see y'all later. And let me get a war eagle for you guys, man. Let me get a war eagle. War eagle. <laughs> Stop it, Nick. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Hey, War Eagle, everybody. Whoa. <laughs> Y'all wow. <boy. laughs> Y'all wow. Hey. Alright, man. Oh, War Eagle. War Eagle guys, man. <laughs> See y'all later. Peace. <laughs>